clean water for the tigers and I'm still trying to make a proper video in slow motion of the movement of their tongues and look at these dogs look how they check me out when I'm inside the cage here they just finding it strange something that they're not used to <laughs> they sure are naughty people don't really realize a lot of dogs like this, especially when they're young, how much work they can be. But it's a pleasure to have them. But I don't know if many people will put up with it. Because they sure are something else. <laughs> Tigers are sleeping still. I'm just going to quickly unlock this. Just gave them clean water. Making sure the cats don't sneak out because they tend to want to do that. You must constantly keep an eye on that entrance. You cannot let go for one second. Now, Daryl, your package has arrived. <laughs> I have to say, I've had it for more than a day and I haven't yet opened it up because everything was just too much of a rush and yeah. I don't want to waste opening it up by getting it wrong and not making a video about it and things like that. So I kept myself ready to just do it at the right time. And I think the right time is going to be in the next few minutes. <laughs> so I'm just quickly going to do a walkthrough here and then I'm going to get around to opening that package. Because I am kind of really looking forward to making that video. <laughs> the cats are all around this little Miss Sassy Pants and her sister and the mother or grandma cat. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Yes, and there is little computer cat. And the tigers are still lying down, resting their eyes. There is Diego. And Enzo at his favorite spot. It's funny how they get their favorite spots. And they do go back to it every time. Enzo has always loved sleeping against that wall. And Diego sometimes, well, he's willing to fight for that position right there. So, yeah, when his tail is hanging out like that, he is having best dreams ever almost looked like he's sucking his thumb there for a second that's how the monkeys normally sleep <laughs> so the field burned down right next to the house I can still smell it and let's see maybe I can show you what it looks like now yeah it's gonna be great opening that I'm gonna do it in a minute <laughs> just need to get a video done for today and then we can go and do that little fucky over there. Okay, so the field at the back has not burned down yet. And I'm hoping it's not going to happen. But to be honest, I know it is going to happen. Because that is what happens around here. The one right over there, there you can see it, it's burnt and uh, right up to the walkway where people tend to walk through the field. That one is still fine at the back, but that prevents big fires from happening. So it's okay, it just should not happen at the wrong moment. Then it becomes a bit of a problem. and. Uh, yeah, well, let's go up another. Just gonna walk through here quickly. Cut us over there. <laughs> to get up here. I'm still busy on the steps. I have to finish this up. I've got quite a lot of work and I've made a rule. Every time I come up here, I do something, even if it's something small, like making this corner piece. That was the last time I came up here. Quickly just cut that. 
and the previous time as I came up here I made this one over here I didn't finish it all the way but I'm busy finishing it every time I come up here I quickly do one thing before I go down if you look at this field that's what it looks like now but it's okay we just need a light rainstorm and the whole smell of that field will be gone so I'm gonna be hoping that it rains but with the rain comes the cold because to trigger that rain we need to get cold from the south to move in and then moist air from the north and when the two come together it starts raining so unfortunately it's gonna have to get a bit cold and we've got great weather at the moment it's amazing weather you won't say it is winter at all but we do need a little winter and I'm sure it's going to happen soon little opal she is just beautiful and she is everywhere and uh, yeah I sometimes don't trust her eyesight that good although that one eye is almost perfect the other one still has got the opal color but yeah I don't trust her to be up here all the time but she is doing so well yeah that's just a container full of tools and she's playing with everything but yeah she's doing well better than I would say if I had to say how she's doing because uh, she seems to see every little thing but yeah I think I have to go get ready to open the package and because the tigers are not going to get up right now but I don't want to talk about one thing this has been quite a negative week here in South Africa and I try and stay out of the news because it's never going to end and if you think about it the only thing that gets reported are negative news so the more time you spend listening to the news the worse it will get and sometimes you need to take a break sometimes you need to take a long break and it doesn't really help to comment on it because people have got different visions and they will you will basically just trigger a lot of negativity against yourself so it's been one of those weeks where there's been shootings and um, murders and all kinds of things I've seen just around this area quite a few things already and when you go on to those pages and you go and see the responses of the people then you really get a feel for the people that are commenting on it and you can see how they are and sometimes that is even worse than the actual news so I want people to know that I'm not really or how can I put this please don't associate me with things in South Africa this stuff that is happening here is not like I am and uh, I've tried a lot of things I've spoken to a lot of people and yeah you can't really convince anyone you just getting them angry at yourself <laughs> so if you feel that you like the way that I am don't make the mistake of thinking that everybody is like that because you will easily put trust in someone just because of a few small characteristics 
and uh, I, I'm sorry but don't do it it is risky so yeah that's basically what I wanted to say I don't know if I got the message over I think the subconscious part that comes with it will say more than the conscience part and I hope people that don't so that's not supposed to know about what I say they won't know what I'm saying because every time I make a video I'm thinking oh man I don't think I should post this I don't I don't want to post it I don't want a lot of people to watch these videos and if it comes to the right people that'll be great and I have to say I've met a lot of people that I didn't even know existed that is absolutely amazing and I found something that I needed through all these people on my YouTube page you guys are amazing and uh, I want to thank you for it because I was running low on trusting anyone but I think I'm starting to trust people again and I thrive on that if there's one thing that makes me extremely happy it is trusting people and trusting them all the way so I don't know what message you're getting from this but the best part is Daryl your package is here I'm gonna be opening it right now <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, have a great day